Hey guys, Zoe here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. As the AICPA and NASVA announced, testing for CPA exams will be resumed starting May 1st. Great news for those who have been eager to get their CPA exams done. And that kind of reminds me of how much I just wanted to get the CPA exams done back in 2019 and I was able to do it in two months. Yes, you heard it right. I passed and quite frankly aced all four of my CPA exams in Q4 2019. Honestly, it was such a crazy time. I took FAR October 2nd, Reg November 1st, Audit November 19th, and BEC on December 9th. The lowest score I received was 88 on audit, then 94 on FAR, 95 on REG, and 96 on BEC. Given that I had completed all these exams in one quarter, I'm very happy with the results and I'm happy to be done with the test forever. So if you want to know my secrets in how I was able to pass and ace all four CP exams in two months you got to watch till the very end of this video if you don't want to miss a strategy that might help you just cross the barrier of passing or reach your dream goal of becoming a CPA watch till the end you won't regret it thank me later <laughs> I decided to break this video into two parts. Uh, the first part will be mainly about strategies of studying and the second part will be about testing. So definitely watch both parts if you want to reap the full benefits of this video. A little bit of background, I know that a lot of people are studying while working so praises go to you because i try to attempt that when i first got the review package which by the way was becker cpa it was such a challenge so i decided to use a few months before i officially started working to really be serious about studying i mean i treated studying like a full-time job not just like a nine to five job but like a nine to nine job it was a crazy time it was painful but I have zero regrets and I'm so glad I did it because now that's behind me I can look back and really thank myself for doing that and if you want to successfully pass all four CPA exams you got to be serious about studying which leads to my first tip for studying is to make a game plan and stick to it yes I made a game plan long before I started studying. When you're studying and stressing out about the material and the things that you might not be comfortable with, you will easily lose track of focus. Making a game plan and sticking to it is the ballpark of the game. Honestly, by doing that, you've already won 80% of the battle. So when I first got the Becker CPA review package, I just looked at their recommended hours to study each. And then I literally made a planner that has all the days that I wanted to take the exams and using those dates to backtrack how much time I should focus on each and whether if it was feasible for me to do it in such a short period of time. Definitely plan everything according to your schedule realistically. I plan out my day and calculated the hours that I wanted to sleep, the hours I will spend on eating, and the hours that I will be exercising as well as the hours that I will be able to allocate to studying. And obviously it is not realistic to expect yourself to continuously study for eight hours throughout the day so allocate a reasonable time for yourself to recharge and get ready for a new round of studying acing the cpa exams is honestly a game of time management whether if you can manage your time efficiently is so crucial so think about the plan that is actually realistic and something that you can actually follow every day. So I went down to the details of each module or each exercise or each practice exam that I would do on a certain day and I will write, I will create these check boxes for me to check off. 
definitely create a little bit of cushion in your schedule that allows flexibility because things do pop up and we're all human and we do need to take care of things outside of studying and work so that when you miss a day or you mix a few check boxes you don't just go completely um, in despair and think that you will never get to the end cool so the second tip i have for you is to practice your willpower yes it's so cliche but trust me it's a big distinguishing factor that separates the ones who can pass and the ones who just struggle many many times to say no to these parties to these social gatherings to these like fun and entertaining things that we all want but can't because you know that they will not help you pass the exams for instance i canceled a trip that i've been looking for all year round because i wanted to focus on studying first i just think that for me if i were on a trip while thinking about all the cpa exams that i haven't passed yet i would just not be able to enjoy myself as much so use your judgment wisely i'm not telling you to not have a life but you got to prioritize your time if you're serious about passing all four exams, let alone passing them in a short period of time. Another point I want to talk about willpower is to stay motivated and be your own cheerleader. I cannot tell you the number of times that I started a module and did the practice and then got like 60 or 70 percent and doubting my life and doubting why the hell am I even studying for the CPA exams if I can't even do a module practice and to be honest you won't get perfect on the practices on the first try that's just how it is unless if you read a chapter of the FASB codification every night before you go to sleep like you're just not going to be able to do that depending on where you went to college uh, for instance I went to UCLA and we did not have any courses on government accounting you definitely have to learn some of the things on your own and it's totally okay to start from scratch so even after flunking many multiple choice practices um, stimu stimu stimulation practices and also practice exams I never gave up and just continued repeating those practices over and over until I reach more than 90%. My third tip for studying for the CPA exams is to take notes. I don't care where you went to college and even if you had terrible studying habits during college, you gotta start implementing some good studying habits for CPA exams or else you just get lost in the ocean of information. I'm not exaggerating. There's so much information. All the materials are like the stick. When I first started using the review course, I was kind of just passively listening to the lectures and looking at their PowerPoint slides without really taking notes. And man, that was such a waste of time because I was not able to retain anything they were saying. I was not even able to pay attention at all. To be honest, guys, if you were like me who went through like five or six modules a day, that's like two to four hours of accounting lecture, no matter how much you love accounting, the information gets really dry. While I love listening to everything on 1.75 speed, it also requires a lot of attentive listening to be able to retain all that information. And the best way to do it is to take notes. Don't spend too much time like retyping or rewriting everything they say, which is what I did for FAR and that took a really long time. Uh, and since we're all on a crunch for time here, I would recommend getting a paper copy of the lecture material and highlight as the lecturer goes and make small notes on the side. It's also really great for you to revisit your notes over and over because studying for the CPA exam is not just about learning, it's also about repeating and retaining all that information. The worst that could happen is that you learned all this useful information and you just like leave it to the back of your head. I used to do three to six modules a day and then for the next day, I would review my notes on the prior day modules. If you don't have super genius or photographic memory of everything, chances are you're gonna forget if you don't revisit. So taking notes is a really great way for you to retain that information and for you to revisit um, your interpretation of the information. 
And my fourth tip for studying for the CPA exam is to prioritize. Prioritization really comes down to prioritizing the highly tested areas. You can spend hours or days studying hedges, consolidation, or all that fun stuff, but you should follow the guidance of your review material as to how much time you should really allocate to study for these because some of the questions could only appear in like one or two multiple choice questions not saying that you shouldn't study for them you should definitely try to study as many things as possible within the time limit that you're given but i'm just saying like try to focus on the bigger chunks of the exam and become really familiarized with those information that will really help you get the most of your points and you only need a 75 to pass so be sure to be strategic of the subject areas that you want to spend more time on versus ones that you can kind of glance through and try to understand within a shorter period of time the second part of prioritization i wanted to talk about is the mistakes that you made in the past so for me i spent a good chunk of my time focusing on errors i made in practice because I know if I made the mistake once, A, I could potentially make the mistake again, B, I'm not really understanding the question or the material, and that is detrimental. So really see the values in your mistake and be sure to tackle them. I know it's kind of demoralizing and kind of annoying to go through a list of mistakes, especially if you have a lot of them, but trust me, the time and effort you put into that is worth it. Don't just make mistakes, make use of these mistakes, okay? What I would do is that I would make a summary of all the mistakes I make in all the mock exams that I took. And on the summary, I will actually copy down the question. Sometimes that really helps me kind of understand what the question is asking for. Um, copy down the wrong answer, mark it, and then write down the right answer as well as to make note of what I did wrong. Sometimes it could be a reading error, a misinterpretation of the question. I will still write that on there and if it starts to pop up more and more then I know that there is a problem with me just reading the exam questions and if it's like a calculations mistake I know to be more careful in the future and if it's an understanding problem that I just didn't know how to do the question I will also investigate and kind of bring myself back to the material and kind of delve into it so definitely pinpoint your weaknesses through the errors that you made and make good use of these mistakes my fifth tip for studying for the cpa is something that sounds kind of irrelevant but is honestly so 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 helpful and that is to exercise you might be wondering like what why like we're on a time crunch here why would we spend more time to exercise and let me tell you because when you're studying so long and hard for the entire day your brain is so jaded and just a kind reminder the cpa exam is not short okay four hours of grind time needs you to be physically strong and capable of doing that I remember that when I first started studying for FAR, I was honestly like not really exercising or moving my body. Literally like start studying at 8 a.m. and then take a lunch break and then start studying again till like 6 and then take a dinner break and then shower and and then come back to study and then go to sleep like that was my day i was miserable i was not motivated and i was not very efficient once i started studying for a reg i realized that my body is literally gonna go down to trash if i continue doing that so instead of neglecting my health and my fitness during the studying grind i made sure that it's also one of my top priorities crazy enough during the time that i was studying for the cpa was also the time that i was the fittest i bought a gym membership and forced myself to go to the gym or pool for an hour at least six times a week alongside with that i would take one to two walks Per day to make sure that I get the fresh air into my system so that my brain can have some clarity and have better focus when I need it to focus like definitely don't forget to give yourself some break time and definitely do not neglect exercising because your body needs to stay strong for your mind to function during the exam okay so even though I have so many more tips regarding studying I could talk on and on about 
studying for the CP exam. But let's quickly touch on strategies for exam taking. So the first tip and the most important testing strategy for me is to get a good night's sleep. Usually I will get 9 if not 10 hours of sleep before the exam day. I know this is hard to do especially if you're feeling stressed but that, that's the thing, like if you follow my studying tips and made a game plan and stick to it, know that you will be prepared. By the way, an honest warning, never pull an all-nighter or try to study last minute for the CPA exams. It just does not work. Just do yourself a favor. If you're not ready, then you're not. Like postpone the exam, reschedule or something. Don't just go to it blindly and without feeling prepared or trying to study it very last minute because it's not an exam that you can just study the very last minute. So if you're actually in the ready crowd, don't even stress about it. Get a good night's sleep. Don't even like try to study past like nine o'clock. It's, you don't need to. The second tip for a CPA exam test taking is to stay calm. Especially if you're taking it for the first time, it's a new experience as we all know and it's quite uncomfortable because you're sitting in a stuffy room for like four hours without water and it could be a lot. I remember when I was taking FAR as my very first exam, I just remember running into a question in the first set of task-based simulation that I just blanked out on. I just couldn't do it and I honestly thought I literally failed far and I don't know how I got 94 but um, I definitely was not mentally prepared to take that I kind of froze there and tried to think about how to really solve that when my time was literally running out so I spent like 30 minutes on each of the later two task-based simulations which I would definitely not recommend you to do but I was able to finish and submit the exam very very last minute to the very last second I think so I did not remain calm or handle the issue logically luckily I was still able to get 94 but um, thinking back like for the longest time I thought I literally failed far just remember that anything could happen but um, in case if anything happens the first thing you need to do is to remember to stay calm and critically and logically analyze the situation to see what the best strategy for that situation would be. And my third CPA test taking tip is to take advantage of the 15 minutes break. I cannot tell you how much I love drinking water and not being able to drink water in the testing room was like so painful. So, so, so painful for me. When you're on your 15 minutes break, that don't count towards your four hours. Take advantage of it, eat some snacks, get replenished, drink water, go to the restroom, do whatever you need to do to reset your mind. If you didn't think you did well in the previous test lists, don't be disappointed. Like, use that break time as a good time to reset yourself and get back into your game mode. So these are all the main strategies that I wanted to share with you in how I was able to pass and ace all four CP exams in two months. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. If you have any more questions regarding the CPA in terms of how I was able to achieve my goals, feel free to leave that in the comment section below. I will try to address them as soon as I can or make a new video on any other CPA related topics that you're interested in learning. So thank you so much for watching and I wish you success on your CPA journey. Bye! This is the end.